The game we are playing today is called Clump. In this game, players explore division, remainders, and factors as they clump into smaller groups, trying to avoid elimination. To play the first round, players split into groups of 10 to 15. The player whose birthday is next is the clump master. Make sure players have enough room to move around. The object of the game is for the players to use division and remainders to determine the least number of times groups need to clump before all but two players are eliminated. For round one, players move around the clump master who stands in the middle of the players. The clump master calls out a number. Players link arms to form clumps the size of the clump master's number. Players who are not in a clump are eliminated from the round. Clumps disband and repeat this process until two players remain. The clump master keeps track of how many numbers are called to eliminate all but two players. No points are rewarded until rounds two through four. Now players move on to rounds two, three, and four. For these rounds, players play in teams of two or three players. Teams should spread out so they can work without other groups hearing their conversations. To play, each team needs 20 tokens or bingo chips and a 20-sided die. If a 20-sided die is not available, use three six-sided die. The tokens are used as manipulatives to act out the game visually. Each team's goal is to earn the least number of points by the end of the game. Teams earn one point for each number the clump master calls. One player rolls a number greater than 10, re-roll if needed. All teams gather the same number of tokens as the number rolled. Team works together to decide what number a clump master should call to eliminate the most tokens. In this video, we see three players working with 12 tokens. First, they make groups of four and notice no players are eliminated. Then the players make groups of five and see that two players are eliminated. Keeping track of the number of points for the round, each time a clump master calls out a number, the team earns one point. When the clump master calls out four, even though no tokens were eliminated, the team earns one point. The clump master then calls out five, two tokens are eliminated, and the team earns another point. This time, the group starts with 10 tokens, the clump master calls out six, four tokens are eliminated, and the team earns another point. Using the number of tokens left from the previous clump, the process repeats until two tokens are left. The clump master totals the number of points the team earned for round two. This team earned six points because the clump master called six different numbers to eliminate all but two tokens. Once round two is complete, teams complete the same process for rounds three and four. The clump master determines the total number of points from rounds two through four. The team with the fewest points win. Here are some questions to think about while playing the game. For the number of players in round one, what is the least number of times players can clump for the round to be over? How do you know? Think about the different first numbers that can be called out during round one. Which number would eliminate the most players? Why must there be two players remaining at the end of each round? Why can't just one player remain? Here are some helpful variations if needed. Skip round one. If there are fewer than eight players, use manipulatives and go right to rounds two through four. Also, for rounds two through four, instead of rolling a die, call out any number between 10 and 20 or use a random generator on a computer or graphing calculator. Click on the instructions link on the Regional Math Science Center website to read the game rules or just rewatch this video, pausing if needed. Thanks for playing!